The principal change in sexual behavior as human beings shifted or human culture shifted from hunter-gatherer societies to agricultural societies uh, involves the introduction of the concept of property to our sexual relations. Um, before agriculture, there really isn't a strong sense of private property among human societies. These are nomadic societies in which they're carrying everything along with them, so obviously they, it's not in their interest to accumulate a lot of material possessions. Um, it makes a lot more sense to share material possessions so there's less to carry. Um, but when you have agriculture, settled communities, accumulated resources like land, domesticated animals, buildings, all this sort of stuff, uh, everything shifted in human experience from our politics to our economics to our diets to our exercise patterns, our work patterns, everything shifted dramatically and uh, pretty much universally for the worse, uh, which many people don't realize. People think agriculture was some great boon to humanity, but in fact, pretty much every data point shows that quality of life deteriorated rapidly with the advent of agriculture wherever in the world it uh, arose. In terms of sexuality, the major change is that when you have all this property, this is when men started to be very obsessed with controlling women's sexual behavior as a way of assuring paternity certainty. Because now it matters. Paternity really matters because you've got all this property that you want to leave to your sons. So the only way to assure that your own paternity is to control your woman's sexual behavior. So this is when women went from having uh, pretty much the same status as men as in hunter-gatherer societies, sometimes even higher in some ways, to becoming domesticated animals. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Seems like it's talking about respecting marriage, but in fact, if you read it in context, it says, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his house, nor his she-ass, nor his servants, etc. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's stuff. The woman just became a piece of men's property with the advent of agriculture.